Deep in the waters of Lake Erie, buried in the Silton sediment, lies a perfectly preserved maritime treasure. This is a fully intact brigantine. The double-masted solid wood structure was a favorite among both pirates and other hardy seafaring folk. But a disastrous September night in 1864 doomed this mighty vessel to a watery grave, along with all but one of the souls on board. So it had been a dismal uh, fate when you know you're out there on this 127-foot boat and all of a sudden you know you're going to go down and, and it's in a gale and you know you've got no possibility of rescue. Her name is the Sultan, and for 147 years, she's been hidden in plain view, just off the shoreline in Euclid in 45 feet of water. David Van Zant and the Cleveland Underwater Explorers recently found her. It's probably the greatest number of shipwrecks on any of the Great Lakes due to because it's so shallow. Over the years, there have been thousands of reported shipwrecks on Lake Erie, about 500 of which sank to a watery grave. Of them, only half have been located. This is a big lake. You can sit there and spend a whole lifetime and not ever find a wreck. What makes searching so tough is also what makes Lake Erie so deadly. The waves and seas on Lake Erie are actually worse than anything in the oceans. Waves get really high, really strong, really fast. Captain Tim Colburn with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says the Sultan sailed during an extremely dangerous time before the National Weather Service when the Cleveland Harbor was a very busy port. It had been coming from all over the world. The Sultan dropped off her passengers and was heading to Buffalo carrying 200 tons of grindstones. All the older uh, captains were sitting there saying, you know, you really shouldn't be going out on the lake. And it was blowing an almost a gale out of the northwest. A crew of eight men set sail and almost immediately ran into trouble. Captain Nelson Webster tried to turn around, but the ship suddenly lurched to its side and sank. Two of the crew decided to uh, try the lifeboat that was half swamped, got in it and started going to shore, and they saw them about halfway to shore, and that was the last they saw of them. The rest of the men lashed themselves to the masts. Uh, the captain, when he was uh, tied to the mast, he could actually see his home because he lived in Euclid but it was too rough for rescue. By the next morning, all but one of the men was washed away by the violent waves. Only the first mate survived by jumping onto the deck of a passing steamer. No one knows what ghosts may lie with the Sultan or perhaps buried treasure. It is preserved down at the bottom. Archaeologists would need permission from both the State and Army Corps of Engineers to excavate, but Van Zant and his team have no plans to bring her up. They say finding the Sultan is treasure enough. These ships are time capsules. They represent the time of Cleveland's history in 1864 when this ship went down. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.